Okay, what we're going to do here is try to set up Authenticator and um, we're going to use LastPass as the web application, but um, all of the web apps have to be set up uh, with their own Authenticator or, or validated with an Authenticator. So anyway, let me just jump into it and see what we got. The first thing is us Authenticators typically work with just mobile devices. Um, I wish that they would just set authenticators up on regular old computers, but they don't. For whatever reason, they just have them on mobile devices in the most, for the most part. So go to whatever store, whatever app store you use, and let's search for authenticator. So I have an Android phone, so I'm going to go to the Google App Store, and you can see my phone over here. So they call it the Play Store. Apple's got their App Store. Microsoft's got an App Store. Uh, Samsung's got an App Store. They all have their own App Stores. And we're going to search up here for Authenticator. So we just search for Authenticator. And you can put, pick which one you want to use. Um, I typically will use the Microsoft Authenticator. Um, you can use the Google uh, Authenticator if you happen to use a lot of Google services. That might work out better. And then there's other ones to use also. I already have Microsoft Authenticator installed, but if you don't have it installed, just you know, go and, and click and do your normal app install. And then once it's installed, and I'm going to go in here, and I have my Authenticator app, and I'll launch my Authenticator app. So it's set up. I already have one, two services set up to use Authenticator. So every service, like for instance, if you've got a Microsoft Office 365 or a Hotmail account, you would go into that service and we're going to set it up to use Authenticator. If you use Gmail, you have to go in and set that up to use Authenticator. Um, in our case, I'm just going to give an example of using LastPass and setting up LastPass to use the authenticator. And I'll tell you why that th that's important. Typically, uh, I've always used just MS SMS messaging, text messaging. It was the simplest to do. Got my phone, get a text message, get the code when I try to log into a site, and that's very simple. But often there's times, or I shouldn't say often, but there's sometimes it happens that you don't have access to cellular services. You could be traveling someplace um, where you have internet access, but not uh, cell phone access. You could be in a foreign country where you don't have cell phone access, so you don't have texting ability, but you do have internet, like if you're staying at a, a hotel or something like that, so you have internet. If you only have these applications set up to, to validate with two-factor authentication, using your text messaging, you're never going to be able to validate, and it's a royal pain. So to protect yourself, set up a authenticator, like what we're doing here. So we have um, these accounts set up. So now, once you have an account set up, what you're going to do is, uh, in this case, on Microsoft Authenticator, there's just a plus sign up here for adding an account. You, on whatever authenticator you choose, for instance, uh, the Google Authenticator, there'll be something similar. There'll be a button or a little indicator or something to add an account. So we click Add an Account, and then in this case, it's what kind of account that you're adding. And I'm going to choose Other here because we're going to do LastPass. So we choose Other, and now it comes up with it's going to display a QR code. So now we have to go back over to the app. So on the left-hand screen here, you can see I'm now in my LastPass account. I've logged in. And what you want to do is go down to Account Settings. And these steps will vary depending upon what you're using. So it's, for example, if you're in your Google account, you're going to click on your little icon, your avatar in the upper right corner, and go to I think it's manage account or something like that. You manage account, then look in the menu that comes up for something like uh, security and login. 
And when you go into security and login, then you'll see something that says two-factor authentication. So, and this, so this process is similar for every web service that you go into. But again, we're just going to demonstrate LastPass here. So we go into LastPass. And in LastPass, we're going to click on multi-factor options. I don't have any authenticator added in here. So notice that this service has got Google, LastPass, Microsoft. I want to set up Microsoft Authenticator. So here I'm going to edit. And I'm going to say Enable and say yes, and I'm sure when I do an update, uh, actually before I do the update, I'm going to go into the view, and one minute here, because it's going to bring up my QR code here. I'm going to go into, i got to re-enter my password again. So we'll do this. All right, so then it displays a QR code. And again, this could be on whatever service you're on. If you're on, uh, if you're validating a Office 365 account, it's gonna display a QR code. If you're validating a Google, Google account, it's gonna display a QR code. And on your phone, once we did that, it automatically brought up the camera. You'll see I've automatically got my camera here. So I'm just gonna go up and just point it at the QR code. It got the QR code already. And it, you'll notice that it's already added LastPass to my list of accounts that's valid. So now you can say OK here and say Update because you want to save this. Again, LastPass again asks for a password. This is kind of a uh, annoyance on LastPass part. They're asking that password way, way, way too many times. Okay, so then you'll see this message. So it says, run authenticator on your mobile device and enter the valid verification code. What that means is go over to your authenticator app on your phone, look for your LastPass connection, click into that, and then you'll see a one-time passcode. If you want to enter that passcode, into your uh, your web app over here and then click OK. And what this is doing is it's linking the two together. So we'll say OK and settings updated and that's it. So then after this comes back, you'll see now I have Microsoft Authenticator enabled over here. And therefore, what anytime, instead of getting a, a uh, text message, I can, when I go to log in and it asks me for two-factor authentication, I can just say use Microsoft Authenticator, come over to Authenticator on my phone, which does not require a cell service connection. Neither does the Google Authenticator. Um, that way you, you do have to have a uh, internet connection, but you don't have to have uh, a cell connection for texting. So you just come over, Click on your, your link, and it will give you a one-time passcode. You'll notice here it gives you how many seconds remaining for this code to be valid. And then once this code is, uh, the timer runs out, it's going to throw up a new number here. And that's what you would use to log into your site with. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, it's a little bit complex in setting up these two factors. But this is a very good precaution for you to take because if you happen to be someplace where you don't have text services, you don't have cell phone services, you will find it almost impossible to get into some of your web services.